Hey everyone, welcome back to Lake Nomad. I'm William Walker. Excuse the poor lighting, it's the fall. It's not looking great out here lately. Um, but anyway, we're here today to shoot this mold here. This is the Slick Shiner mold from Do It, the 8 cavity. Uh, I picked it up the other day. Um, pretty good deal on it. Um, definitely worth spending like some of the money that I've made making baits to uh, give this a shot. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna use today, remelt. I have some pearl, I have some like baby bass, watermelon, some gold from probably alpha pigments in there. I'm gonna mix it all up and uh, try to laminate this. So here's the top color, right here. Hot belly color. I'm just pretty, pretty clear. A little bit of pearl in it, I love that. Everything's warmed up. Including the molds and the injectors. Alright, so double check myself. And one done. All right, guys, let's get into these. Oh. <laughs> you can see the spillage. It tried to fill part of the beetle. <laughs> All right. These are the ones that we care about right now. Oh, sorry. Hold on, guys. There they are. I panicked hard at first, guys. I saw all these tails and I thought, oh no, not a single one of them filled. And then I realized, no, they have smaller tails. <laughs> I'm used to the, the ripper having a giant tail. Uh, these have a little smaller paddle, so that's pretty cool. And you can see this right here is just from the cavity. You come right off. They really did a good job venting these. I'm really impressed with that. I'll take one off. And there they are. That is really nice. Oh, wow. Oh, the shimmer on the bottom from the pearl. I wonder what the action is on these guys, because I, I have to say this is already just perfect looking to me. Will absolutely throw it at this color. It's such a good color. Let me get an action shot in the bathtub. <laughs> Excuse the poor rigging, I jacked it up a little bit, but inadvertently almost matched that color. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this on an underspin, my norm. Okay, right there. Okay. I guess <laughs> dark so early now. All right. I just shoot one more run, just for fun. I figured I already had the colors. I'm definitely gonna throw these because they look absolutely amazing. Just did a swim test that you just saw, I'm sure. Blew my mind. May have a new favorite swim bait mold. Just, it's just different, you know? Oh, I did it again. The only thing that I have messed up on so far is this. So what's happening is but that, when that mistake happens, is that I've put plastic in it already, pulled it out with the next one. When I pushed down, I actually somehow got plastic stuck to the injector. When I pulled it out, I took off all of this. So what happens is when this plastic contracts, it has nothing to draw from. I went back and filled them all back in, but that one just didn't get the plastic it needed. That was a user error thing. 
but I mean, these look just so good. I'm so happy with these, and out of remelt makes it even better for me. Oh uh, yeah, I love it. I think the biggest difference that I'm seeing between this and the Ripper, uh, ribs and tail, these are smooth, smaller panel tail, more of a tail kick than the whole like body shimmy that I see with the Ripper. And um, I think that's great though. And it looks like more of a small, it looks smaller than it is. It's the same size as my three and a half Ripper, but it looks small. It's just slender. Um, and it's kind of making me think walleye, small mouth along with large mouth. So I'm really excited with like maybe the possibility of this being a, even more of a multi-species bait. But anyway, Slick Shiner Mold, love it. I'm so happy I got it. I'll see you guys soon.